Hey there, I'm CG Plays, and this is Blade Prince Academy, and we're here to find out what is this game, is it fun, and can we think of ways to make it better as we dive right in here into the tutorial, I suppose. Alright. So we're this little guy running around here. Enemy there, obviously. Graphics look pretty good. Uh, Fables, Feebles? What's happened here? Who dared to attack the Academy? My brothers. So many dead. I need to find survivors. Hee <laughs> hee, it's my lucky day. There's still one of them alive. The boss will be happy. Acid pill. The art seems pretty good. Okay, fight. You have entered tactical pause. You can analyze and queue up your actions. Press space to enter and exit tactical pause. All right. So it's a real time with pause game here. All right. I like a... Uh, oops. I'm pushing buttons. Why is he, is he sitting? I, I'm trying to like... I'm, okay, just right click. Like, right click you. Oh, I'm like telling him what to do. Okay, right click to you. What's going on here? I'm, I'm queuing up commands. Oh, movement. Can I like cancel these? Shift, right click to cancel? Alright, so we, we can queue up commands here. It wanted me to like right click him to attack. There we go. Um, I guess this is like I was looking up here, all these things. Uh, and I press space to like go. Alright, sorry if I'm a little bit scuffed to start the video here. Just kind of like learning on the fly here. So let's try. Uh, what the heck are the acid pills doing in the Black Mage Palace? Makes no sense. Has it might be some swearing in this game. Alright, so... It was easy to take out, my hit points are nice and full. Um, so real time with pause game. Find Athelion and kill the bandits. I, I cannot use WAC to move, so I just have to right click to move around. That's fine. Can I like, break these things? I can. Uh, so this, what's this little floating thing over here? I want this, give me this. Can I take this? Surely this is grabbable, right? I guess not, all right, well, just tease me. I got some skill, I got some, I'm getting some kind of currency. So this is one of these games where you have to go through and break every pot if you really want to like, Get all the goods, all right. Personally, I don't love that. I'd, I'd rather do the, the pots be decorative as opposed to have to go through and break every single pot, but some people like that. Oh, it's, it's a floating torch for like lighting. It's a lamp, I guess, all right. Let's go over here and deal with this, I suppose. Just run right up in the middle of them, huh? So this guy's kind of, the, the graphics look really nice. Acid hair, Zahaha, what do you think you're doing? You wanna go on a ride with me? We've already slaughtered lots of you brats and the boss had to bring, uh, bring him and he's still breathing. You'll die by my you'll die by my blade, fella. If you attack the blade princess, death is all you deserve. Uh, we'll see about that. Mad dogs will grab that insect. All right. Um, we've been detected. I saw the say there. Uh, capacity. Attack with the skill whirlwind of blades to eliminate the dogs. Use space to enable uh, the tactical pause. So we click the Z buttons or click the Z, and left click on the ground to use the skill. So, like so. Press space to exit the tactical pause, and. Well, A we attack here, and it seems it just it, it just keeps going. It just it just it, does he just just keep doing it? Seems like or I don't know. That's it went on forever. My dogs, uh, darn you, pathetic little puppet of the mages. I'm the sword in the shadows. Zah, no time to play with you, little one. Gotta go. All right, just runs away. Okay. Interesting game so far. Um, find a uh, Thelion, kill the bandits. Let's keep running around. Um, no, come back here, you coward break these things for what do they give me they're giving me some kind of like skull currency over there got keys got three or three whatever this is got a little dog here so i'm gonna about to fight you backstab attack enemy from behind with right click to perform a backstab and double your damage okay so right click the mad dog from behind here press space to exit tactical pause um i guess that's the back of the dog there fight uh backstab already did it why is this still up here shift cancel um i guess i just Make sure we just keep doing it. Hold on. A attack him. Get him. And there we go. Not sure why this tutorial thing's still up there. I guess we can close it out, I suppose. Break more of the crate. Still learn the game. I think I'm getting that general idea as you uh, you press space to queue up your commands and then unspace to have them go. And it's like, you know, it's just, it's, it's your, it's a real time with pause is like the core gameplay loop here. But what's any unique mechanics or just player story? I don't know. Who will open the chest? Fabos, Phoebos. The polish seems very nice. Visuals look great. Um, we take up a pack. This is an interesting mechanic here. What we got going on here? Um, we can open chests and like a modify ourselves. Uh, more max health, more armor at the cost of attack speed and resistance. I feel like attack speeds can be important. Life steal sounds fantastic. We lose some mana though. Um, crit chance, mana, lose regen, re mana regeneration rate. More crit, more attack, lose poison. So let's get life steal. We'll be a vampire. We got the packed vampires mark. Got some, did I see some XP down there? Now, keep in mind, this is just an early demo, but it's looking pretty promising so far. Looking to see what it's all about, what kind of things can we add. 
Uh, what if it's in need of a mini-map, or where am I going here? Oh, obvious stairs. Giant stairs to my left. Pretty clear what's going on there. Um, break this. Okay, what's going on here? You're gonna give me like some kind of like text thing pop up, right? Yeah. Uh, queuing. Queue up your actions during tactical pause to defeat your enemies. Your actions are queued and will be, and will be performed after exiting tactical pause. Press the spacebar to enter exit tactical pause. Okay, so it wants us to attack that and then go back and yeah, okay, so kind of accidentally did that start. So right click you to attack and then so what was this? Why is it like showing a walk icon, not like a sword icon when I'm attacking? And then walk back to here and then press space to do it. And okay, it didn't do it. I, I guess I must have clicked the little down arrow instead of actually triggering it. I don't know. Fight. I right clicked the down arrow and then it said go for it, but then it didn't actually do it. Um, so it, I guess it paused again since the aggroed on me. So it wants me to like queue up commands. Is it safe for me to go for this explosion? Should I be like right clicking these mad dogs? This will, yeah, I, I think I right clicked, oh, so you're queued up there, so I'm going to right click the dog, I can't do it because it's, it's like nasty out, let's press space for the explosion end, okay, it was queued up, alright, shift, right click, cancel, 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 okay, I guess I did a few times there, so I guess we right click you, uh, what are these, dash with your sword, physical damage, um, I guess the, maybe it's like click this button, right here, Cancel the movement things. Something about like this does not proper uh, accurately reflect the actions I'm taking right here. And that's throwing me off. We want to do this like that. And a little dash like this. Kind of missed. Let's do this whirlwind of blades thing. And do that. Sorry, I'm just kind of like learning the feel of the game here and trying to get used to it. Does he just keep doing this forever? That seems like it. Yeah, I guess he just does it forever until they tell him to stop, I suppose. Yeah, he's still doing it. Oh, no, he stopped. Okay. Learn the game here. I see a lot of potential here. We need little games. Keep working on it, I suppose. Break these. A little AOE attack on the thing. Pick up the little uh, skull things. What is that? What are you all about? Hello? Can I interact with this? Nope. Just some graffiti on some weird, like, thing in the wall. Oops. What's happening here? Friend or foe? Looks like foe. Two foes. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a buddy there, right? Uh, Thile. Good timing, my friend. We're in deep crap. I was looking for you everywhere. Our room has felt really empty since you left. Sorry, buddy. I don't have time to explain everything. I wasn't planning on coming back for a while, but I sensed something shitty was going on. Shady. Need to emphasize my words more. It almost sounded like I swore. And when I arrived, those acid pill junkies were attacking the Black Mage Palace. You better tell me everything that's happened since you left, and no bullcrapping. I'm not the head mistress. I'll explain everything I promise, but not now. It'll be unwise. I suspect an influential organization is involved. Well, anyway, I'm glad to see you again, buddy. Let's go and save everyone we can. All right. Um, fight acid, find acid here with the help of Athelion, is that this guy? Group selection, you can select several characters by left clicking, hovering over them, pressing tab, uh, one, two, okay, gosh, let's do that, okay. And let's, uh, go together, kind of group up, there we go. On we go, so you can, at least it's a game of multiple party members, and if I right click, it tells him to go first, I suppose, because he's like your main guy. Alright, go together, birds of a feather flock together, some fire there, whoa, they got line of sight, okay, good to know, there's a line of sight. In the, in the game and we can kind of like sneak past it is there room there no you saw us so we entered that guy's line of sight all right so shift right click to cancel these commands i'm i guess i'm shift right clicking and still showing the walking commands i guess i can't interrupt a command they had when they're told to move all right uh so phobos i want you after you're done walking there to do a sharp dive i guess on this guy and um and that'll be fine and then you what's this quick blade trust dealing bleed and 18 physical damage blood projectiles i guess you can do a blade thing over here as well and unpause and i guess it stops right where they're moving do they do they auto attack or they just stand there like idiots they do seem to auto attack and defend themselves now but this guy's just gonna chill here and do nothing unless i tell you to get involved so right click over there so you can just literally tell them to right click and they'll go off and get involved Altercation, alterations, they will auto attack with if they're in range. You can apply alterations with your skills. Alterations, oh, I see like these icons above them, um, are effects, uh, the extra effects that can deal damage, they're, they're, they're status effects. Alterations are status effects. Or dec uh, over time or decrease stats, be careful, enemy skills, they're, they're, they, they can apply status effects. Gotcha, alterations are status effects, okay. Every game's gonna have their own unique way of saying 
things. That's fine. Uh, keep attacking these guys. Alright, you're still working on this guy. Uh, you're fighting over here. They're both auto-attacking, so... I mean, you can just have them sit there and auto-attack if you want. Oh, it actually shows you above their name what they're doing. I could have you right here. Get out of that. Get out of this attack range there. Something's gonna happen there. Keep working on this guy. You maybe get out of the range of his attack here. And uh, keep fighting him. Okay. Starting to feel what's going on here. You're not in range of attack, I guess. Go and get him. Alright, job done. Probably took a lot of poison damage there. Does it go away? Does it end after the battle? Seems like it. Okay. Hit points is looking pretty good. Why is this... I think that's a, I think that's a glitch. Um, maybe. It's an early demo. It's gonna have some bugs, obviously. What's this thing here? I don't know. So far it seems to control pretty well. Um, a few little bugs here and there. It's a work in progress, but I definitely see a lot of potential. The artwork alone tells you somebody's uh, put a lot of work into this here. Cares a lot about it. Keep wandering around. I see. Are those lines of sight? What are those? So I like a lighting strip going through there. It's kind of looking weird. Whatever. Some these crates, I guess, for whatever currency. I really need to do this. I can get a backstab here if I do play my cards. Or can I get two backstabs at once? Um, that's the real question. Let's get you moving right back here to backstab them. Um, and I like move my camera. Yeah, with arrow keys, but not WASD. All right. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that. Shift right click. So I want you to backstab them, and I want you to backstab them, and go and um. Oh, they're like they're like charging up their attack, flanking there. Got them. All right, it's kind of hard to time at the same time, I guess. I guess you can just stand them there, perfectly positioned, then do it at the same time. Better way to do it. All right, you are moving. I guess he, oh, he's moving. He's automatically moving into range to attack. No, he's moving to range to follow. All right, I should have you do a, a sharp dive here. Let's do like a series of commands just to mix it up, and then like a spin attack, and then you let's have you do a quick blade here, and then uh, one of these. Like so, and then can I, you can only queue up one of their special attacks at a time, I think. Good to know. All right, watch out that poison thing, probably not be super great for us. Um, did you do your thing? Um, well, they're running away. Uh, it's on cooldown. Did you know, I feel like you didn't do your whirlwind of blades. And what about you? You do this on them, whatever. Get them out of here. All right, we're stunned. Gotta wait for that stun to wear off, I guess. Gonna cast the grenade uh, tar. Oh, I see. And you guys, like, as soon as you're ready, just move out of here. Maybe it's better to have them, like, have my guys spread out a little bit. Um, I told you to move, and you're not doing it. Do I have other attack commands going on? It feels like they don't really listen to. Maybe I can't command them when they're stunned. I have to wait for the stun to be over. I feel like if they're stunned, I should still be able to queue up commands since like a big part of this game is like the command tactics. I also feel like we can't really take damage because it's a demo and they're trying to like take it easy on us maybe. I feel like we should have taken a lot more damage than we have. Do this on them or I want this on you. Then I want this on you. And then you do this and then do this. And we end the pause here, so you do your thing, and then you do your thing there. Uh, you need to get out of the poison. Don't get involved over here. And there's a bit of cooldown on these things here, okay? Are you not ready to attack? Go get them. And things keep attacking here, alright. Starting to feel for it. Gotta get used to it though, they're running away. I think the tar is just stuck in the ground. They're getting stuck. It's a little bit, it's a work in progress, a little bit buggy. A little bit, still needs some more love here. Get these guys. Also, I'm just not used to playing real-time with pause games. I'm used to either or. Either like full-on turn-based or full-on real-time, so I'm still getting used to it. Need to keep moving around here. I guess we did take some damage. What's this fatigue? Uh, attack speed, haste, and mana regeneration are reduced. Evade is decreased. So they, I guess the status effects persist outside of battle sometimes. But we'll be okay. Lots of blood over here. Um, break these up, I suppose. And going through here. What's the symbol again? It reminds me of something. If you paid more attention to class, you'd remember. It's the symbol of Arknea, the goddess of suffering. A cult that has its tentacles all over the content of Monstro Gaho. Okay. Sorry for wanting to pay attention to the reality and dangers of field operations. Theological teaching doesn't exactly get my adrenaline flowing. Okay. Uh, so they're in school. Um, we'll do, let's get oh, a little health. Good, I need that. It took some damage here. I guess we're all topped up. If you're full, you don't waste it. Good to know. Uh, let's break these here. A little bit of uh, extra, like, some, some kind of currency, I suppose. Right-click this, yep. 
and the chest is full of gold, so it's it's gold. It's gold skulls. It's it's the currency. Gold. There's gold and then there are things. What's this little skull? I guess there's just like graffiti on the ground because like hooligans are running through the place, busting it up. But we've got two keys. We'll use one here. Door. Door blocks the way you can open it with the key. Destroy it. Come back later. Destroy the door. Plus one skull. So that's probably a bad thing. Makes the enemies tougher or something, right? Or like, well, let's open the key. We've got the keys, right? It's what they're, what's, it's what they're there for. The skulls probably make it harder. Yeah, although I am curious to make things more difficult, right? You seem bigger than you were before. Nowhere to run now, you scum. Uh, Zaha, you and your little friend are too late. Who's Zaha's? You'll pay for what you've done. Come on then, kitties. I have enough juice in my blood to take two of you on at the same time. Uh, acid hair. I think I'll start with your tongue so I can shut you up for good. Oh, violent. All right. Uh, so his name's Acid Hair. He's a boss. 275 health. My guy's at 225. Okay, so it's not that much bigger than us in health. He's just really, really tall. I, it feels weird. I, you know what? I was. I'm gonna. Say, I'm gonna say it right now. It feels weird that I can only queue up one and then two commands for this character as far as like attacks. Um, I would like. I feel like I should be able to queue up a bunch of commands. You know, like command you to move here have you do this and then have you do this and then like have you move again and then I want to command I want to queue up again if the whole point of this thing is I can pause and issue commands let me issue a bunch of commands I know it'll be on queue down but have him like you know run around a bit and then use that I think that would be way more fun right or is that just me I'll have you walk a little bit. It feels weird to only, like, if the whole thing of this game is you queue up commands, I, it feels weird to only be allowed to queue up two commands per character, right? And then, I guess I can have you, like, run a bit. But, like, that's it. I, I mean, maybe that's fine, I guess. Maybe you'll have, like, six characters and that's plenty. Why did it pause? I don't understand. I didn't press space. They cast a spell, Crimson Spikes. I, I, why did you... I, I didn't press pause. Maybe it's because he's attacking, so it's giving me a chance to, like, react and move out of the way of his attack, perhaps? So, I, in which case, I would need to, like, shift-cancel everything, move over here, and have you shift-cancel everything, move out of... move over here. I don't know, something... it's just... something feels weird... It, it feels weird, like... I guess it, if you want to react to them attacking you, you don't want to queue up eight attacks at a time, which makes... then this makes sense. In which case, it's really just kind of like... It's like you pause, you know, Q open attack, and then yeah, you Q open attack, and then pause, wait to see what he's doing. Uh, what are, what are you, what you doing over there, buddy? He's just kind of standing there. Okay, now that he's doing that, I move. Is that how you're supposed to play? I'm just trying to figure out what's like the proper way to like play. He's still in, you're still in cooldown, so you just do your thing there. Move. Is this how you're supposed to play like this? Like how? how wait, he's still. He's no, not you. Um, cancel that. He's still attacking me, even those indicators over there. No, 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 it was going over there. I just, for a reason, for a second there, I thought that thing was going towards me, but no, it just, it just visually looked differently, okay. Go back on this guy. I would like to, like, when, I, when, when the game is in real time, I would like to be able to see the, the cooldowns of their weapons, of their abilities, in real time. Because right here, I just kind of have to, like, guess. Like, is, is this guy off cooldown? Can I click him and use his ability? Yes, I can. So let's move over here. And then, you know, hit the bleed on this guy. And then click you. You're not off cooldown, but maybe you shouldn't stand right on top of him. And then have you uh, attack him, maybe. And, uh, I think I'm starting to figure out how we're supposed to play. Ooh, I guess it wasn't quite out of the range of that, I guess. Are you off cooldown? No. Are you off cooldown? Yes. It does feel weird that I'm, I'm just, like, guessing when they're on and off cooldown. So, I, a visual indicator somewhere of when their abilities are off cooldown would be good. I mean, I actually, I, maybe, is this it right here? Is, it, is that it right there? And they've already got what I had, it just wasn't very visible. I beat them. Alright. I think they're sorry there, just didn't really notice because it's a really small icon on their pictures. Till next time, kiddos, I'll be taking my leave now. Arachnia has her eye on you. I can't believe it. That rat slipped uh why is he still here if he ran away? Uh right through our fingers after ruthlessly killing our brothers. Think about it, uh Phobos. There'd be a lot more buys if he killed all the other princes. He just wanted to buy enough time to evacuate the hostages. We've been fooled like chumps. Let's get back to the academy quickly to get some backup. We'll scour the whole of Abjectalia to hunt down that freak if we have to. Okay. Arg? Thyle? It's nothing. It's okay. Just a nasty migraine. You go back to the academy. I need to continue my investigation. I have contacts in the shallows that could help us. See you soon, buddy. Athelion, wait. Can you at least tell me who's behind all this? No time. You'll know soon enough, bro. Just say a name. I, I need to find Oran. I'm sure she survived. At least she's reliable. I can count on her to help, uh, help to track down 
that acid hair, okay? Uh, return to Academy, okay. Starting to feel it, all right? Gained experience, got a skill points. You gained less experience, which makes sense because I used you less. You joined late. Uh, headmistress, uh, missing us. Uh, Blade Princes, uh, bow before the Lord of Abjectalia, Zion Taurus. Thank you, Headmistress Malgadore. My dear children, yesterday's events signaled the start of a new period of terror that we find ourselves in. The future of Abjectalia is at risk. Your brothers have been captured or killed under our own roof. We've not witnessed depravity of this magnitude in 300 moons. Sorry, I'm not talking properly. No black major blade prince will rest until the perpet perpetrators of this atrocity are executed. I swear to you, these criminals will pay with their life for this attack on our prestigious palace. I'll leave it to your headmistress to explain how we will respond. Thank you, Lord Taurus. My dear students, yesterday's massacre regrettably thinned our ranks, but our enemies committed a fatal error. Your brother, Athelion, uncovered their identity. These cowards have a name, the Brotherhood of Torments, a cult of heretics who serve the goddess Arachnia. You can skip pa You can skip forward the video if you don't care about the story. So we'll see more gameplay. The attack on the palace has shown that this gang has become a genuine threat to our academy and our gl uh, glorious city. But their crime will not go unpunished. We will hunt our enemies down and destroy them. As of now, we are at war. My loyal blade princes, the time has come to show the results of your training as elite warriors. You are the weapons of the black mages. You are the future of Abjectalia. Let's get revenge against our enemies, for your brothers, for Abjectalia. Glory to Abjectalia, glory to the academy. All right, okay, so we got like some kind of like base area in between missions. We got Fables, we got Ren here. Um, level one, I guess, or like a star or energy, something on here, okay. Uh, start a mission, well, it wants us to click this clearly. Use the recruiting office to recruit new heroes. So I guess maybe if units die on missions, you just have to like get new ones to replace them, okay. You can upgrade the recruiting office to increase the number of heroes available. Or maybe we send them on missions to fight on their own, I don't know. Um, Vikio, vampire, magical damage type, 225, 65 mana. All right, we'll recruit you. Um, it'll show me to like drag and drop a thing there. Dad, was I supposed to like do something different or I don't know. Um, Selenia, recruit you as well, I guess. And uh, should pay more attention to the little arrow thing it was showing there. All right, back to uh, the hub here. Looked like I said hug almost. Um, it, it's wanting me to like, it does, is it telling me to drag and drop this over to there? So drag and drop over to there. No, it's wanting me to, it's, it's telling me to click this and then click this so for 200 smackers I'll I'll buy this so we're the anti-poison we're we're, we're, we're we're making an anti uh, poison potion all right I think to make this more clear the arrow uh, forget this whole dragging thing just have the arrow here have it do like the click thing with a little bubble around it show the like, signaling that you're clicking and then have it peer over here right would be easier than this drag and drop thing uh, got that done though okay we bought one should buy two just in case sure Great, we've got two, uh, you can, we have two potions, so we have uh, two uh, anti-potion effects here. I guess I can stack more, uh, add effects to potions by new ones, can I add like multiple effects at once? Um, I'm just going to call that good for now. We did what it told us to, start a mission. Choose a destination. Uh, select a mission, threat level one. We only have, looks like one option here, we'll go here. A little circular city. Uh, the Shallows, your team, we can only choose three. Got the two potions. We can buy more potions like while we're on the fly, maybe. Team coherence, whoever that is. So we gotta click this. Do we choose a team? Probably choose a team before this. So do we click Fabos? Yeah, we click Fabos. Um I guess you have less energy. Get Oren. Gotta click you twice. Double click you, double click you. Double click you. Gotta double click him. Okay. What's this skull worth that? No particular bonus with this team. Yeah, whatever. Um click this mission here. And Vendetta. We know that the Acid Pill gangs uh, taking uh, bolder actions against us. Put them back in their place. Kill bandits. They have little match resistance. They're strong f to physical. And they have physical damage. Uh, are you magical? Right click for more info. You can look at the hero stats and packs on their character sheet. You can also change their skills and acquire talents. Okay, so there's customization of the heroes. Okay. Um, skills. Uh, you heal. Having a healer could be useful. Um, 15 magic damage. You also do magical damage, which these guys are weak to. So I think you're a good person to have in the party. Um... You, uh, physical damage, uh, absorb blood, you, so you can self-heal. Alright, what about you? You are, uh, destructive, stun and physical damage, um, uh, magical, curative disposition, healing, so you also heal. And you are, oh, we unlocked a new skill by leveling up, I guess, that's what the skill point did. Do we mainly assign, it looks like the skill points just automatically assign themselves, I guess, and we unlocked fireball here. Next would be some kind of stat boost looking thing, alright. Uh, we can burn this guy, so I say give her the I give give her the 
get rid of the vampire and give us a... Uh, click this. Get rid of you. Double click you out of there. Get the you up there for better healing and your magic powers. Maybe it'll be fine. Um, Headmistress, the orders from the Black Mages are clear. What happened yesterday at the Academy must never happen again. We must hit back hard and end the Acid Pills threat for good. These scums are about to... Nice sentence. Are about to carry out a pillaging raid. Let's take this chance to destroy them without warning. I hope Phoebos will live up to your expectations. If I may speak my mind, Headmistress, as number two of the Blades Academy, I'm wondering why the Brotherhood of Torments would want to ally themselves with these Acid Pill junkies. It makes no sense. They're just cannon fodder. It means the Brotherhood doesn't need to get its hands dirty. The Acid Pills are just pawns, Diamante. The plan makes perfect sense. Athelion, finally, you're back. It's time you ended this annoying habit of yours of coming and going like the school's a magic garden brothel. Last warning, boy. But headmistress, I'm just applying what you taught me. My ability to disappear and reappear at just the right time makes me one of the best assets the Blade Prisons have. Feels like a lot of dialogue in this game. One of the best, but not the best. A lot of dialogue. Perhaps too much, but maybe some people like that. In which case, it's fine, then. Alright, let's do our mission here. Um, kill bandits to secure the area, ten of them. As father says, time for revenge. We'll crush these vermins and make them wish they'd never attacked the Blade Princes. Going on a slaughtering spree is no fun. I'm not even talking about the smell of the corpses. I prefer more subtle op operations. Spelled wrong. You heard uh, a lot of typos in this. Taurus and Malagdory. If you're going to make a game that's like 80% dialogue, at least, you know, do a spell check. Their orders are clear. Eradicate this scum without delay. Maybe it's, e maybe it's ESL or something. English language. It should be up to the Skadrons to handle that. It's not our job to collect the garbage. I disagree, Oren. This mission is of the highest importance. Alright, so we got our three, all three of you guys selected by default there. I can use the arrow keys to move around. No? Uh, I thought we could use the arrow keys to move around. Maybe maybe it's only in battle? I just want to scroll the edges. Got a little mini-map here showing we need to go up this way. Any, like, things to break around here? Pots, pans, uh, dishware, cutlery, what have you. Alright, nothing here. All right, we want to avoid their line of sight. I can, like... Um, probably like doing one at a time to be a better way to... I can just press the arrow, the number keys, right, to move them. Get you guys. I can probably just like avoid the fight entirely if I wanted to. I could try to backstab them all at the same time. Might be a, like a thing. Maybe we want to try to do that. Um, stay outside of your bubble. There we go. And you can go over here. And these don't react to us at all because they're just... Apparently these dogs don't hear so well. And over here... Just to set up, set up perfectly, press space. And I want you to uh, get that backstab here. You get the backstab on this. You get the backstab on this. And hopefully we can time them all simultaneously. Um, you attacked instantly. I guess some of these guys attack faster than others. The backstab didn't do a whole lot of damage, honestly. You guys have a fair bit of hit points. Maybe you can only backstab one, or it's really hard to sync their timing up. Let's just press space and... No, it, it, uh, that's weird. He got the backstab off, and then these two, ha like, their little timers got reset. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I like the idea of being able to carefully position everybody and have three backstabs right at the start, but it doesn't seem like the game allows you to do that, and I feel like maybe that shouldn't be the case. Maybe you should be allowed to do it. All right, uh, you're getting attacked by this dog. This dog's attacked over there, so I guess walk over here and then do a Lunar Crescent um, on this. You appear to be getting attacked as well, so maybe move over here. You look like a sniper of some sort. Um, long time to charge. Probably we'll try it. See about it here. And then you, um, let's have you move over here and hit them with a, a sharp dive like this and press space. Maybe this is how you're like supposed to be playing the game here. And then we pause again. Arrow keys to center this where we want it. And now you're getting aggro down again by these two, so maybe you um, run over this way to avoid that attack, and then maybe just like, kind of like have you run around and kite these guys for a little bit, while my other people do their thing? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Feels like I can use WC to move the camera around, just have to use the arrow keys. Alright, you, um, I don't need to heal him, but yet, so just, you just, you're still doing your thing, whatever, just press space and let these guys finish their thing. Did you just, oh no. The dog moved forward, effectively dodging my attack, and I shot my own dude in the back, I think. So apparently you can hit your own dudes? I backstab my own dude? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know that I love that mechanic. Burning flames, burn, magic damage, give burn to the caster. Sure, hit burn on him. There's something about the real-time pause in this is, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm just not getting the flow of it. 
it just doesn't, I don't know, I just, I just not like, am I not vibing with it? Am I not doing it right? I just don't fully get it. It doesn't seem to be, it, like, it doesn't feel right, per se. I don't know, like, what's the proper way to do this? Am I supposed to be pausing, taking actions, and playing constantly? Am I supposed to let it play out for a while, and then once in a while intervene? Like, I don't, I don't fully understand the flow of how I'm supposed to be doing this. It just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel, I don't, it doesn't feel intuitive, or doesn't feel right. It's, it, I feel like I'm doing something wrong with this. Uh, I guess you need to, like, move in closer. Let's get you to move, uh, run over to here, and then hit him with a whirlwind of blades. Maybe I'm supposed to only do one character at a time. You're f shooting. Am I supposed to be, like, pausing constantly? I don't know. You're attacking him. I'm probably, these enemies are probably relatively easy. I'm overthinking. I'm just trying to, like, figure out what, like, what's the flow of this I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know. Just something about it feels, like, unintuitive, maybe? I don't know. Anybody need this heal? You all seem to be at full health here. Guess the heal worked out fine. Guess one of you guys does have vampire. All right, we'll keep it moving here. I think it's quite possibly a me issue. What's a cloud that just popped up in my head there? What was that? Fog. Evade increased by 20. Oh, it's gone. I guess, we have, I guess that gave some kind of... Oh, there's fog here. Like, we can, if we stay on this, we get an evasion increase. Evade increased by 20. Reduce projectile damage taken. So, that's good. So, like, there's spots in the environment that you can stay in on that make it easier to defend. I'm into that. That's pretty cool. We have, we have moving targets. Holy crap. Is he coming for me? Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. Stay in the, stand here. I like that. That's that's cool though. I like that there's like enemies that move around. That's cool though. I guess I I guess I can't go here. Why can't I go there? Like it looks like I should be able to walk right through this. Why can't I just I guess that's a wall? That's supposed to indicate a wall there? It's weird I can see through it. It's kinda like tricking me a little bit here. I bet get a backstab on you? I don't know how you get a backstab on a moving target. Maybe you're not I don't think you're able to I don't think you're meant to get a backstab on this guy. Um based on the huge thing around him. Can I, like, do a, a dash in with my sword on you here? And, uh, maybe do this long shot and kind of, like, aim where you're going to be at right there and hopefully you don't miss it. Better, it's better against stationary targets. And then do a little bit of this and hopefully I, my long shot guy doesn't hit my own guy. I'm not sure how I feel about friendly firing this when we're having to, like, aim and guess where they're going to move to in the future, right? And we missed because he went too far fast. I've got to, like, aim my target more. It's definitely some skill to the game, I suppose. And when the battle starts, I'll magically pause when you guys are busy doing things. All right, you. Um, I feel like sometimes I try to click him and doesn't register it. Maybe it's, maybe give, maybe give like the clicking for the hitbox. Yeah, yeah, that's what's happening. Like I'm, like I, I I'm like I, you click on the top half of the guy and doesn't register him. The hitbox or touching him is only like right here. That's I guess it's around the circle. Why not have it be around the actual character itself too, right? Maybe that'd be an improvement. Worth a shot. Um, go ahead and do a little AOE thing here. You, that stuff's on cooldown. I guess this right here, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, so my complaint earlier, like, ah, oh, why can't I tell when their stuff's off cooldown? It shows it right there. It does show it right there. It's just kind of small and I didn't notice it right away. Um, let's get you to just attack this guy. Get you just to attack this guy, sure. And it doesn't matter if we take damage. We can heal him up a little bit here and there. So, let's have him wail on while the whirlwind thing goes for a while. You should probably get out of that area there would be smart. Maybe you a little bit as well. And then back to attacking, I guess. And whose abilities on cooldown? Your abilities are both off of cooldown, so... Uh, when it, if it's not there, that means it's ready. Um, so you could do your little moon's edges thing. And, um... I think it does, like, if you tell them, like, right-click to attack them, they do, like, kind of track the enemy around. You should try to move off of that and then go back to tracking them. Oh, it, it just it just follows you around. There's no dodge in that. Okay. Fair enough. Um... What are you? I didn't tell you to run back there. What's going on here? Got backstab somehow. Okay. Can I like heal outside of battle? Uh, we're full there. Um, take some poison damage. Don't know what I can do about that. Just um, does it? It just lasts for a certain amount of time. That's fine. I can use a potion to heal, and I think you're the poison is the thing we buffed that too. Wait for this. Go ahead and grab that. Why is it, it says I'm full? Oh, that's a potion. So use the potion. I thought that was just like you pick it up and heal your character. Why is he like flexing like that? Okay. Uh, can I like heal outside of build battle? You have healing powers. I guess not. So you get a potion sometimes for winning battles. All right. Starting to get a feel for the game. Definitely not the most, uh, you know, bit, there's a bit of a learning curve to it. This probably poison. Probably don't want to attack that. I see a gold eye kind of here. Maybe run around. We should, do we loot these chests? Are these lootable? They're, they're pots. Just that they'll have currency. Okay. I'll go back for those other ones later if I want. Starting to kind of get a feel for the game. Definitely, it definitely feels like there's some more, obviously, some more polish needed. 
Um, do I try to backstab these guys? It feels like the backstab is just barely worth it. You hit one guy for 16, like, do I really care that much about it? It sometimes puts you in a, like, positioning that's, like, maybe not super ideal. Lunar Crescent on you, I guess. And, um, you go ahead and, uh, snipe, um, this guy. Hope, I hope he stands still, maybe? Maybe I can have, let like, snipe be my thing? Are you gonna interrupt my snipe shot? It doesn't, it doesn't seem to interrupt, like, the regular abilities. Alright, well, um... Uh, let's go ahead and have a Burning Chains be applied on this guy, I guess. And then Whirlwind... No, and then I then move over here. Whirlwind Blades like this. And... Sure, we'll go with that. I have to use my arrow keys to move the camera around. It won't let me. It won't let me... Why can't I use my arrow keys to move the camera like I was before? Hello? Are I glitched? Is that, why, I, why can't I, like, left-click or right-click to... Like, I want to change my angle so I can... The, why can't I move my camera for worth crap in this game? Hello? It's a demo, that's why. Whirlwind of Blades. Actually, no. It's a demo that needs more work, that's why. That's fine. Stop being so critical. There's a constructive criticism, C CG. Not complaining. Remember that. Um, it's an early demo. Like, temper your expectations. Heal them. And press space. Can I use my arrow keys to move now? No. I guess sometimes you can use it to move, sometimes you can't. The character's literally off my screen. Can't see him. You guys should be helping to fight here. All right, you should get in on this as well. Help out a little bit. And I don't like, I guess I didn't right-click the guy properly. You gotta right-click the circle below them, not the actual character portrait themselves. I don't think it should be that way, but for now it is. Probably shouldn't be standing that circle, but whatever. Let it happen. Yeah, that, that circle is like from a previous attack. That's like the tar that's on the ground, like slowing down, whatever. Um, I can just heal my guys up. This is taking forever. I think the, I think my my auto attacks don't really do a lot of damage. So if you want to speed it up, you gotta use other things. You can check out this guy's heal here. Sure, we'll heal on you. Why not? And he, they like to run away. Okay, that's a thing in the game, I guess. Uh, let's get you to move over here, and I'll cancel that over here. And from the back, I guess. Take him out of here. You're trying to do some shenanigans. You're not attacking either. So you like track properly, maybe. I don't know. Gonna finish this guy off here. Oh, that's not super great for us. Poison? And half of them are still left. Although it's true that there's a lack of inquisitors and skaters in the area, we could have done with their help. Stop moaning. I thought you were the school's number one. Yeah, well, there's a lot of enemies to deal with. Alright. Uh, taking damage. Um, we can't really heal outside of battle, but I can just, like, heal to start the next battle, right? Threat level two? Did, uh, the threat level increases when you open chests and doors, the higher it is the strong the enemies are. Okay. And these guys just keep taking damage. Five poison. That's almost done, though. I'd rather. I'd almost would rather have that just like kind of like resolve itself instantly. But maybe it's fine as is. Keep going. For those who are new to the channel. Oh man, this guy complains a lot. Sorry, I try to keep it as the whole. The whole point of these checking these games is like check them out, scope them out, try to give constructive criticism to the developers, give ideas, give feedback. And uh, the problem is there's a fine line between constructive criticism and complaining, and it's really easy to cross that line and I do it a lot. I'm still working on that. It's a bad habit. Um, I, I can just use these potions, I guess. You're selling, how much do they cost? 40. Keys, 140. Chest, 400. Can't afford that. Can I talk to you? You look very cool. The art is probably the strongest point of this game. I'm just going to use these potions. It's, I guess it's a potion that hits everybody. Let's grab this. Thank you. I guess the potions, is, it's an A we heal for everybody. Okay. Another fight here. I don't really find myself to be excited for the fights because they just feel so, like, kind of like clunky and awkward. I just gotta learn how to do it better. Um, get over here. Maybe the focus is more on... Maybe it's just like a 90% turn-based game and a 10% real-time game. And you're supposed to spend most of your time lining up your attacks. And then let, you know, let the things happen. It does feel weird to try and, like, queue up things outside of battle. When, like... Like, like you hit fight, then all of a sudden it just goes back to pausing again, right? Oh, and they should... Like, this guy's ability... I, st I need to learn to wait to use this guy's building until, like, the timing is better. Go ahead and do a whirlwind here. And then might as well fall up with a chain there. There And you, um... Uh, do we heal him? You'll need to eventually do that, right? I guess the heal does charge up pretty quick. You... I need to stop, I need to stop leading with your precision shot, because you always just miss. Where's that little icon down there? That's their attacks. Um, anybody ready? Cooldown's here. Uh, it's, it's really hard to keep track of all the things, so just gotta, like, get used to it, I suppose. I find just, I think brute forcing it might just be the easier strategy than all the, like, moving around and stuff. 
heal you and just occasionally just check on things around here and heal, hopefully healing my guy, not them. The standstill and brute force seems to be, I don't know, easier. You guys are kind of tanky, though. Are you guys? Your A's off cooldown. It's it's so hard to, like, just, like, look at the, in real time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are, are you ready? It's easier just to press space and just, like, take a quick look. And anybody ready? Yeah, you're ready. Seems like an easier way to tell than looking at these tiny little icons that are, like, oh, all the things are going there, whatever. I guess that, I guess, look for the guy who... Look for the guys who don't have any icons, then they're ready. That's probably the way to do it. Let's do this. Can I get both of you? Look, let me get this guy. Look for the people with no icons next to them. That means they're ready. That's the simplest way for my brain to comprehend it. If they got no icons next to them, they're like, they're like ready to go. This guy's only got one icon next to them. Just gotta like get used to it. Let's have you actually move over here and range and then whirlwind, I guess, and then burning chains as well. Yeah, this is a game where you can spend 90% of your time pausing. Um, is what I'm is the vibe I'm getting here. It's called real time with pause. It's more like it's like pause with real time. <laughs> it's in between. I think it's what it actually is. Um, are you? Uh, you look like you might be ready here. Uh, let's have you heal up. Uh, not them, but this guy. And you might as well give him a little bit as well. Yeah, I think I think as far as like the icon go, icons go. Like the more I'm playing it, the more I'm getting used to like looking at the icons to see what's off cooldown. It's just like it's it's like it's a game where you have to like get used to it. The, now you only have one icon, which means you have something else ready, which is that yeah. You just got you just got to play it a bunch and get used to it. It's not a game where you just like you just get it from the get go. My camera seems to be focused on you, so let's move you in closer so I, so I can actually see what's going on. That little star thing. No, I told you to move. You can't give them commands while they're stunned, which I disagree with. Um, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it's also like kind of... I, I, I clearly want to give them commands while they're stunned, right? So why can't I heal yourself here? You, uh, you're not ready, but you heal her because she's getting aggroed on by the looks of things. And they keep auto-attacking here and there. I'm starting the feel for it. It's just the feel for it. Just, yep, go back to pausing. It's just, you, it's not, now that I understand it's a game that like you're just going to be pausing constantly. And then you watch for a little bit and then you pause again. So it's... It's it's very it's kind of like advertising itself as like a real time game, but it's kind of almost not, which is fine. It's a turn based game where you can watch things happening in real time. Let's use this healing potion. Didn't affect him. I guess you can't apply the heal when they've got the burn happening. All right, fine. Good to know for the future. Or as a bug, I don't know. I feel like he just didn't get the heal value there. Um, it's fine. I keep going here. Starting the feel for it. Why I try to give myself you know lengthy amount of time to play these games because it's. They're not the quickest things to learn how to pick up sometimes. Get you over here. Get you over here. And let's have you start us off with a, uh, for a spacer. I feel like sometimes, I feel like clicking their face should maybe bring up the space thing here for the commands, but maybe not. Maybe it's better not to. Let's give you a nice little shot right there. Backstab. So you can backstab them with special abilities too. That's good to know. What are you, big dog? You're not kidding about the being a big dog. Surprising the big dog has barely more hit points than you. You think the big dog had way more hit points than you, right? Now I can, now I can use the arrow key to move around. Why couldn't I before? Whatever. Um, bug maybe. Sharp dive on you, because why not? Followed up with a whirlwind, and then hit him with a, a burning chains. And then you, um, you're on cooldown here. You go ahead and give him a lunar crescent as well. And I guess you can just uh, right click to attack them. And uh, it seems like they kind of mostly auto attack on their own. I think that's a. I think that the, that icon means they track your units. You can't really dodge that type of ability they're doing there, so no point bothering. Anybody, you look like you're ready. Why did you? I told you to use the A and then the B and then the E, but you didn't. Or the two and the E. This oh the Z and the E. I, you, you didn't use it. Why? Because the enemies moved on you, or it just seems like sometimes they just ignore my commands. Maybe a bug. Just an early demo, right? Hard to say. Anybody needs a heal? Yes. Uh, you, you need you to heal. People, so I almost want to be able to click just their icon down there. Does that work? Are you gonna, are you gonna heal them? Um, yeah, yeah, it did work actually. Nice. Big dogs move around, stunning us and stuff. You're stunned. Your strong A's on cooldown. You're ready. Yeah, it's, you just gotta get used to looking at these icons and just like I feel like I'm spending most of my time looking down here to see when they're off cooldown, as opposed to actually paying attention to the battle. 
maybe to keep like I clear like as a gamer I want to watch the battle not have my eyes constantly glued down here looking for uh, cooldown icons to go off cooldown so perhaps the cooldown icons of like when their icons are ready are ready could be like somewhere on their visual HUD here like a like a little thing out here right right below the hit point bar I guess over here rather as opposed to the way down here maybe that's an idea I'm just trying to think of ways to make the game just like because right now it doesn't it doesn't feel quite right where's my I guess, why, why do my guys not have hit points bar? That is that's that's a Phobos. Is this Ren? Why do my guys not have hit points bar? They clearly, be, they I guess they're having down here. I don't know. There's the game has potential, but it's, right now it's still a work in progress, and it feels. I mean, it's it, it needs more love. It, it it needs more love. That's just all there is to it. I right, had that queued up. Okay, get the dog out of here. Good. You um, move over here and hit this guy with the burning chains, and then uh, auto attack them. And then you, uh, yeah, it, it feels like when you right-click an enemy and tell it to move on them, like if I click you and tell you to right-click this, a command should pop up here with like a sword symbol, not like a move symbol, or in, the, or in her case, literally I'm right-clicking and nothing's happening at all, right? So definitely something around here is not showing up properly. Not that I'm really looking up here very much at all, to be honest. All right, Ren, your big thing's on cooldown. You're on cooldown. All yours are on cooldown. Um, flanking, so I should probably, uh, I saw a flanking thing, so maybe I should be trying to, like, position people behind you, uh, to attack from behind, like so, and then you get behind to flank while you guys are attacking her. Um, need some heals going on, you could probably heal, uh, yourself. And once you get over there, you heal yourself, and then maybe that'll be a thing. And, uh, you have to take care of yourself, and you should be auto-attacking, that's right. Um, your abilities, uh, yeah, backstab, so you can backstab them during the battle itself, good to know. Didn't realize that. Give you the sharp dive here, so you want to position behind this. The so positioning is very important. You want one person to draw the aggro while the others sneak behind for backstab, there's only one left. Oh, uh, every time. Can I cancel this? Can I cancel this? Re-aim it? Stop. Uh, cancel. Right click. Shift cancel. No, they're just locked into it. Man, I get... Oh, he ran back into the lucky for us. Got some flanking value there, and... Go back on him, you get back here and get him. You try to move out of that explosion and then hit him with a thing there. Sure, I guess. Nope, didn't quite make it out of range. Honestly, just keep a tri he keeps switching who he's going for. Just keep a triangle pattern and hope for the best, right? Keep a triangle pattern, hope for the best. You heal uh, Phoebos here. Um, uh, who else here? You're you're fine. Check the cooldowns. Keep working on him. Get the job done. We are. Yeah, maybe instead of like constantly dodging the attacks, just keep the triangle pattern. I'm, I'm not sure what the optimal way to do it is. And you uh, use your magic attack on them. And Phobos dive in here. I guess keeping the triangle going doesn't work if you're doing that. Cue up that attack and then like walk back. Uh, click on them instead of walk, tell them to walk back. And then he doesn't. Did he do the fire thing? That's weird. It shows them. It shows this is on cooldown there, but these are like. Why are these like blocked out? Fog? Burn? I don't understand why. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's weird. Something's. I think it's just kind of like a buggy demo might be what's going on here. All right. Um. I think I think we've played enough to get an idea what it's about. This video's getting a little bit longer, and my thought is, um, it shows a lot. Of, it shows a lot of potential, but it's clearly not there yet. Or 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 or, I'm just not. Like, I don't play a lot of real-time games with pause, so it's quite possible I am just incompetent at the real-time with pause genre, because I, like, almost never play these kind of games. Plus, I'm trying to expand my, you know, my horizons a little bit, so it could just be a me issue, which is a distinct possibility. But, you know, if they're trying to make the real-time with pause genre be appealing to people that are new to it, um, at least from my perspective, this doesn't feel that crazy intuitive. It's... It's, I mean, it's a bit of a learning curve, and it fe sometimes it feels kind of weird, like I can't... I have to click the circle, can't actually click the carriage themselves. I should be able to do both, right? Um, it's, it's, it, it's, it's an early demo, needs some work. Visually, fantastic. Uh, Story-wise, you know, seems fine, a little bit heavy in the dialogue, but some people like that. Uh, the combat itself, the gameplay itself, the, the framework is there. The framework is there, and that's a good thing. Needs a little more touches, needs to feel a little more intuitive, right? Um, but I, I can see where, like, even even in its current state, if you're a patient person, which anybody who wants to play a, a game that's, like, 
Uh, I thought the game would be more real time and less pause going in. Turns out it's the other way around. It's 90% pause, 10% real time, and that's what threw me off with my expectations of the game. If I had gone in knowing you'd spend 90% of your time pausing, and then 10% actually watching what's going on, I think I would have, uh, you know, would have been a little more just, just chill with cri the criticisms, I guess, I suppose. But um, that's uh, I, I do I think there's potential here. Don't let my, you know, harsh criticism stray you from checking out the demo yourself. Um, if it's still available, there's a link in the description down below. I'm not sure if it's still available or not, but the link will stay there regardless. That's where we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Let's go.